YouTubers, it's Kat from an itty bitty homestead and today we are going to be canning some white fish uh, for my dogs. So I will be canning them in the small half pint jars. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I bought this fish to dehydrate and unfortunately it's really thin at one end, really thick at the other. Slicing it, I ended up with just paper thin um, slices. As you can see, I mean they're like just just really thin, like super thin, you know, you can almost see through them. Um, some are worse than others, they're like just wisp of paper. Did you hear me open the container? There you go. All right. So anyway, um, I have to go to Cash and Carry, which unfortunately has been renamed to something else, um, and buy the twice as expensive white fish. Um, I don't know how many pounds it is. Anyway, these were the white fish that I bought at Smart and Final for $13.95 for five pounds. Really good deal. Um, I gave a five pound bag to a friend of mine. Um, she likes to eat fish. I'm not a big fish eater except for salmon and shellfish. So um, I cooked up one of these last night for the dogs to verify that they would like it and they do. So good, hate to waste food. Um, and I need the freezer space. So I'm going to show you, um, I just watched a couple videos. One guy actually gave some pretty scary information on the way he did his canning. It was really kind of scary. Left him a not so polite comment, um, advising him to go back to the drawing board, maybe buy a book. But anyway, that's me and my sarcastic self. So I am going to, uh, show you how the ball blue book now, I'm not doing the brining because I'm not going to eat this and I don't want this salty for the dogs. So I'm not brining it. I did rinse it. I still got a few fillets over there soaking because it has been in my refrigerator for two days and half of the bag was still frozen solid. I don't get it. But anyway, it is what it is. So I've got the pieces that are thawed out. The ones in the sink are probably almost ready. So why don't you guys come on in and help me do this. All right, so these are the jars I'm going to be using, the little four ounce jars right here. This is my part of my fish. I'm not taking the skin off, as this gentleman did in his video. Okay, let's have a little drink. Okay. So when you do this, <clears throat> You want to be sure to leave a one inch headspace. And we're going to pack it. It says to cut it into strips. I'm going to do that like that. And I'm going to try it with the funnel and see how it goes. It may not exactly uh, work. But I'm trying to. Okay, there, I got a border. I may have to, you know what, I may have to compress this. Let me bring you back. Let me start over. Okay, take two. Two. All right, so here's a fish. And it's got a lot of water still in it. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure that's the side effects of it being frozen first. Um, so I'm not going to use a funnel or anything. I'm just going to pack this in and I'll just keep draining off the uh, water as best I can. I don't need this super full. I just need this for kibble topper for four dogs. But um, you do want to pack it kind of tight. So about like that. Maintaining that one inch head space, and then we will drain off liquid. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Maybe next time I want to do this, I'm going to do it with fresh fish. <laughs> so let me um, go ahead and fill up another jar for you. I mean, 
look at all that liquid. <laughs> and to think, I had this sitting under a bowl in a strainer with a big jar of Crisco sitting on top of it for about 10 minutes to try and dejuice it a bit. But, uh... This is a good way to check for bones. Because I found a bone. Alright. That would not be good for the dogs. And I know this is going to make its own juice, more juice, uh, during the canning process, but I really don't want this to overflow. Alright, so. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these jars, and then I will um, bring you back for when I'm going to put the lids on. Okay, so here we go. Got six jars, so that'll be that'll work out just fine. What do I do with my? Oh my goodness, I picked it up. So this is um, now it's just warm water. It was boiled and then dumped over here with some vinegar, so uh, it's still warm enough that. You want to use it to clean all around the rims because all fish um, have some amount of fat in them. And um, so you don't want any of that on the, the rims. And then once I get these sealed, I'm going to just wipe around the outside as well, just because they were so juicy. So pretty well packed in there. It's kind of heavy. Uh, this might actually be enough for two meals for all four dogs. Um, like I said, I just put a little bit over the top of their food. And I know based on my boiling it last night, uh, everything breaks up almost to a mush. This isn't a real flaky fish. So actually, you know what? Let me do this before I put the lids on. Just want to wipe around the edges so that my, hopefully my canner doesn't quickly adopt a very fishy smell. I will have to wash it, I'm sure, when I'm done. Hot water and vinegar and soap. But this is just to get some of the liquids from my hands that was handling this off of here. Okay. Now we're going to take lid. And I, even though it says you don't have to heat these up anymore, I still like to heat them up um, just because I feel like the rubber, look at that, two for one, the rubber uh, seals better. And these are uh, room temperature jars that were run through my dishwasher, God, weeks ago. And um, like I said, I showed you before, I store all my jars upside down that I have put through the dishwasher. And sometimes already through the oven as well, and I just didn't use them for whatever I was doing. Um, so I know they're extremely clean on the inside. I usually line the bottom um, of the box with something. Not always, but I, I try. If I have it, I, I do it. And then I just store them this way. And then I will just usually pop them in the oven just to get them hot because, you know, um, they're essentially washed. So, all right. I did a lot more lids than I needed. So now we're going to take our rings, finger tight. That was another thing this guy said. Just barely, just put them on until they touch. No, you want to go finger tight. Always finger tight. Now these are going to go into the canner. And then I am going to bring my canner up to a boil very slowly since the fish is cold. My jars are now cold um, because of the fish. My water's from the tap straight, so it's cold, sort of. Um, don't get really cold water here in California from the tap because the earth is so hot here that uh, our water coming in from the pipes is just warm. You get a few seconds of cold water first thing in the morning because it's been cool all night, but otherwise the water's just, it comes out lukewarm. So, um, gotta have ice. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna get these into the canner and then I am going to um, slowly bring it up to a full steam. I'm gonna let it vent 
for, and steam for 10 minutes. Then I'll put my, my weight on. Now for my altitude, my poundage is 11 pounds by gauge, 10 pounds by weight. So as soon as it hits the 11 mark, I will start my timer for 100 minutes. And then when that reaches its 100 minutes, I'll turn it off, let it come down pressure, um, and then let it sit an additional 10 minutes. Take the lid off, let it sit an additional five minutes, and then I'll take these out and that's when I'll bring you back. Okay, this is for my friend Heather, just adding this little thing. First off, I wanna show you guys this ring that actually came on a jar. There you go. There is ball quality control. <laughs> the jar fine underneath it. Just this ring was messed up. Anyway, so this is my constantly being sterilized <laughs> jar of water. And I'm going to be, Heather asked me, my friend Heather was over the other day, asked me why I have this. So now I can show her. That's why I have it. So I can make a full load. See? Fish is done. And oh boy, it smells fishy. So I know I've got some siphoning, but let me go ahead and bring it on over. We'll take a look at it. First things first, take my water out and that can just sit off to the side for now. I have to dump that. Okay. And there's my first fish. Look at that. Ooh. Still a bubbling. Nice. Oh, you hear that? Music. Let's see if we get a little more light in here for you. There we go. La ping, la ping. Okay, it is really uh, beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to have canned fish. Now, if I was doing this for me, like if I was going to eat it, I would probably, not even probably, I definitely would um, de-skin it. I can't imagine there's any recipe in this world that I would want to put the skin in it. But dogs, skin's good for them. Nice uh, omega-3. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. Look at all that juice. And I, I, I mean, I, you saw me squeeze it out as much as I could anyway. Okay. So, last one. All right. Canned fish or my dogs. Closer look. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? All right. If you like these kind of videos and like to see more, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell sign over there to the right. <laughs> see my left. You're right. You're right. And uh, it'll give you notifications whenever I upload something new. So there you go. Um, I don't upload a lot. Um, I'm, I'm aiming for twice a week. Uh, I was doing almost every day and it just got to be too much. I was spending too much time editing and whatnot. So anyway, since this isn't my career, it's, it's uh, so, you know, that, that's how it goes. Anyway, let me know what you think. Looks delish. I will let you know what my dogs think. Um, they just had fish last night, so they won't have fish again until next week. If then, I don't give them fish very often. <laughs> But just once in a while, and this this will be good. It can go on the shelf, and it can sit. It'll be really tasty for them. All right, I will see you guys later. Stay safe. God bless. Bye.